Hi everyone, this is The Unspeakable from Innerscapes Art Studios. Today I am going to do a swipe as a background. And I am going to consciously copy or um, do my version of Van Gogh's 12 Sunflowers. One of them. He did several of them. So parts of this video I've sped up quite a bit because this took over two hours. And I left in some slow parts so you could see the tempo of it. But once you get the tempo, I've sped it up because it, a lot of it is repetitive. Here I am laying in a textured background and I'm using the same palette that I used for yesterday's Van Gogh inspiration. I'm just taking my time with this to get it get myself settled in. This is I know this is going to be a long painting and it takes a different kind of concentration to copy a master's painting than it does to just do an abstract or your own original work. I mean it's like learning a Bach concerto or something. <laughs> it's very different from sitting down and improvising on the piano. So as I'm doing this I'm thinking well it's my birthday tomorrow. This is my birthday present. And now that I've gotten the texture the way I want it I'm going to lay in the horizon or the tabletop and the vase. And because this is fluid painting, none of this will be the same at the end as it is now. And I have to be okay. I have to translate from being a brush painter to a fluid painter. I'm being precise here, knowing that it's going to change but also knowing that that will set the template for the whole and the proportions for the whole painting. Also, there are a lot of drips that happen and I don't worry about it too much because I know I can swipe them in. And here I'm laying out the shapes and the sizes and the relationships of the flowers. <laughs> and I like the way the circles look. They don't look like flowers. Okay, now this is an interesting moment because I realized, oh, in the Van Gogh painting, the vase is reversed to the background. So I had to scoop out the paint and then add the blue on the bottom and bring the brown and ochre into the top. So that took quite a while and I probably will speed this up in a moment. So here we go. And as I mentioned, um, this is my birthday present to myself. And since it's my birthday, if you're watching this and listening and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share this video. I would love to have 5,000 subscribers for my birthday present. And it doesn't cost a thing. So now I'm going to move on to adding the uh, light and shadow and a little more depth to the flowers. And truly this is an act of faith with fluid painting because there are so many leaves and petals and texture and blending of colors. I'm here, I'm truly hoping that my idea will work out. And you will see that it does in the end. But at this point, I don't know that. But I like the way these flowers look right now anyway. They look kind of like space flowers. So this is quite a process. And I would encourage anyone who would like to try this to try it. Right now, I'm using cut out pieces of paper towel to swipe these shapes into the dynamic and 
vibrant <laughs> activity that Vincent Van Gogh's flowers were doing. And uh, I don't know if it's working. I cut out a lot of in between here or my hand was just hovering over the canvas trying to figure out what to do next. And I did this for a while and then I decided to use the fork and that added some direction and some actual definition that might look somewhat like bunches of petals that sunflowers have. And this also took a while. I really did not know how this would come out, but I kept going and I had a great time doing this. So at some point it stopped mattering to me if it would come out perfectly. And I just started having fun and getting in the spirit of the painting. The delineation between the flowers and the vase was one of the most difficult parts for me because in the painting itself, the delineation is from very fine brush strokes and the color is quite similar. And because I could not do very fine brush strokes, I had to add some more color to show that. Copying a master is like reading a new book or a new author and learning a new vocabulary and learning to see in different ways. And that being said, I do have to note that in my home when I was a child, there was a print of one of the sunflowers. I don't think it was this version, but one of the sunflowers on the wall. And I always looked at it and wondered why it was so great. Because the color, it, I don't think it was a great print. It was kind of a poster. And the color was not very vibrant. But I spent a long time looking at that painting, many years. And so maybe this is not so difficult for me because it's already in my subconscious. I don't know. So this was a delightful project to do. I needed to have a whole afternoon where I had no appointments later. I did not need to rush. I wasn't able to rush and do this. I had to be totally chill. So there it is. I'll flip it right upright for you. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe. I appreciate every subscriber, every view, every comment, every like, and all of the inspiration. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you in the next video.